and some more of this. Helps if I unmute my microphone. Hello and welcome to Community Showdown number three. Hopefully I'm live at this point. Oh, let's see what we've got going on in chat here. I've got uh, some commands being packed, passed back and forth here with Coder. Da, 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 da. Want to change? Go to the top right. Yes, that would be lovely. Just call that name change or something similar. How's everybody doing? We are getting set up right now. I'm waiting for them to fill in some names here. I don't know why there's a name in every chat box, but we are getting the leaderboards set up. We are preparing for the first of several rounds now. I'm doing things a little bit differently this week. Uh, this week we had so many people sign up for these community showdown matches that we actually have four show directors. Um, and if I was a smart man, I would have all of those off the top of my head. I'm going to look them up in the moment. I do know that right here on Mixer, you've got myself hosting a single preliminary round. Uh, we also have Real Caustic, another of the Shed team member. Go the Shed. Uh, he is going to be directing two preliminary rounds. Over on Twitch, we've got Seldrick and Jim Basco. They're both going to be hosting a couple preliminary rounds. And then, come on on back over here to my channel, I get to host the three final rounds for this week's Darwin Project uh, Community Early Access uh, Showdown. So this is going to be a pretty exciting time. I'm watching commands get entered over here. Uh, it's been an exciting week. They've introduced skill-based matchmaking this week, which uh, has helped my game significantly. I'm getting a couple wins here and there, which is something I had started to despair of ever happening. Uh, I even broke my personal record and got five whole kills in a single round. That's almost unheard of. Um, oh, and I'm being messaged over here on Discord, so I'm juggling a couple things back and forth. But then on top of that, we've also got uh, an Easter egg hunt tournament thing going on right now. People in-game can actually find, along with the typical treasure chests, along with the leather chairs, and along with uh, the trees that you chop down, sprinkled all over the map here and there, usually an out-of-the-way sometimes hard to get to places there are actually easter eggs on the map you pick them up if you collect six of them you get a chocolate easter egg head in fact i should probably show mine off right like this you get a pink easter egg hat you can put on 36 and i'm one shy at the moment get you a golden easter egg but best of all if you get 108 eggs you get a bright yellow bunny head to put on uh it's pretty exciting stuff We are just waiting for our uh, matches to get started here. How's everybody feeling this week? There's a lot going on. <laughs> yes, thank you, Coder. Here, there, I'll do it too. Uh, what else have we got here? 
we do have a live scoreboard that is getting filled up as we speak with people putting into what channel is going on where. I'm watching some Discord chat going on, although I'm going to be paying a lot less attention to that now that I've gone live. And really, we're just getting started. So do me a favor. Make sure you check out uh, Real Caustic here on Mixer. If you're not already following him, you should be. Go ahead and check his channel. He's going to be hosting two sessions. In fact, because I only have one preliminary match, and then I'm going on to the finals, I'm going to have some time in between. I will be hosting Mr. Real Caustic here in just a little bit. Oh, and my keyboard is not playing along nice today. This will be fun. Um, that's what we've got going on. So we're preparing for week three of the uh, top 100. Now, back here on the main page, I did see there we've got a couple of, well, if I can get the uh, get the news. These are the skins that uh, people will be playing for. Everybody who places in the top 10 on the leaderboard will be getting the silver skin. Whoever manages to be the top of those 10 players gets this gold skin with a really fancy lit up uh, helmet. It's 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 very neat to see when you see it in game. Let's see here. All right, the scoreboard is filling up. I'm going to make sure that people know about it. Event news, yada yada. All right, we are passing information back and forth here. We're going to get started. So the rounds today will begin at 4 o'clock. We're going to try to start pretty sharply at 4. Um, there's a 20-minute timer on those rounds, so I'm actually going to be uh, starting up a room here pretty shortly. We'll get our competitors into those rooms, and we'll be going from there. Now, I want to copy and paste and move some things around. It looks like I'm actually going to be hosting players in the... Uh, Eastern European server today. Let's see here. We're going to have rounds A and rounds B are going to be hosted by twitch.tv slash Celdric, C-E-L-D-R-I-C. -E Make sure you give him some love. I, of course, am here to host match C. And while you're here on Mixer, you can catch Real Caustic hosting the North American West servers. Uh, for matches D and E starting at 4 o'clock. And then finally, we're going to actually have on uh, running New York, I'm sorry, North American East servers, uh, twitch.tv slash Jim Basco. He's going to be hosting some rounds as well. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull up the leaderboards for anybody who wants to follow along at home. Those are the leaderboards, so you can see which players are going to be in which round. Now, it looks like this week we're going to be hosting Oh Tofu from Twitch, Drago Mato, Jotobo, Twitch slash Zero PG, Twitch TV Primal Cinder, Enta, Twitch TV Lil Adorbs, she is a killer. I've faced her a couple times. And Mountain Man E? <laughs> Commands are hard, Coder. Um, that's what we've got. If you haven't checked out Darwin Project yet, it is only $15. It's available on Steam and on Xbox. Uh, they are working on getting some community type events going on for Xbox as well. Now, this is the last week that we're going to be doing these community access, um, community showdowns on a weekly basis. Moving from here forward, in fact, it tells you right here about our new leaderboard reset schedule. We are going to be moving on into a bi-weekly schedule. Now, this is a literal bi-weekly schedule, meaning that this is going to be every two weeks, not every half week. That would be semi-weekly, but people use bi-weekly to mean both. Don't get me started on grammar, because I, I won't stop. Uh, here we go. This is the window I was looking for. I wanted to move my, my, my streaming software off to another screen here. It looks like Real Caustic is uh, running a couple games himself as we speak. He's got an audience. Uh, there are some people chit-chatting over there. I like to just sit here and, and kind of get things going a little bit piece by piece. So if you're looking for a little bit more action, a little bit more excitement, by all means, give him a check right now. Uh, looks like we are going to be starting here in just a few more minutes. Uh, in about, let's see, we want to leave plenty of time for people to get gathered. So in about seven or eight more minutes, I will be going ahead and starting up. Uh, a private lobby for my contestants. Make sure you uh, uh -oh, 
twitch.tv slash test. Oh, you made it. Oh, look at you. Getting all fancy there, sir. You gave a variable. That's pretty fancy pants. So once again, just so everybody knows, we do have four directors this week running a total of seven pre-qualifying rounds and three final rounds. We've divided up our players into roughly equal pools. Uh, we've got uh, here on Mixer, you've got myself hosting one pre-qualifying round. We also have Real Caustic going right now. He's actually running around with some people trying to kill a deer. It looks like, looks like he's playing a duos round with... Uh, who did he get paired up with? I can't actually tell. Oh, I take that back. You know what? It looks like he is show directing a duos round as we speak. There's a lot of action going on over in that game right now. Uh, so we've got Real Caustic here. He's going to be hosting two rounds here on Mixer. Over on Twitch TV, we've got twitch.tv slash Seldrick and twitch.tv slash Jim Basco. They're going to be hosting several rounds today. That link I... Uh, the link to the scoreboard coder will give you the correct spellings of the other hosts over on Twitch TV as well. An eye on the chat here. Keeping an eye on the um, official Discord while I try to do everything else, keeping me a little bit busy. So if I'm a little bit distracted, my apologies to each and every one of you. See what's happening here in just a few minutes. Oh, lots of water today. I like what you're doing there, Coder. That's good work. And, of course, there are links at the, on the scoreboard for uh, any of the channels you might want to go check out. They are available there for your perusal. There is some discussion going on in the... Uh, Official community event Discord channel right now. People are talking about uh, how much time they're going to waste looking for Easter eggs today. Now, if you uh, haven't been in the game, there is an Easter event going on right now since tomorrow is Easter. Uh, and the, the event goes until Tuesday, I want to say, where running around in-game, you can find Easter eggs just laying around the map. Sometimes they're on top of houses. You know what I find? There's a lot of them hiding down by lava. Um... It's a pretty interesting, uh, you, you got to be a little bit bold to go after those particular eggs. But if you find 6, 36, or 106 eggs at each of those tiers, there are hats that can be unlocked. The first two look like uh, chocolate Easter eggs, uh, the first one being pink. The second one, when you get 36 eggs, is a gold version of that. And then finally, you can actually get uh, at 108 eggs, or it's 106 eggs, I actually forget which right this moment, you can get yourself um, a big yellow bunny head which I kind of want, although I usually wear my moderator headset instead. We'll see what's going on. That's so exciting times. All right, it looks like I'm almost ready for me to go ahead and spin up a private match. Uh, we'll start getting people hosted together here in just a couple minutes. I want to hear from you. So here's an important thing that everybody needs to know, of course, about our community events, because these are community showdowns for the top 100 community players. The powers that I get to use during these matches as director are community powers as well. I will be taking suggestions here in the audience for what powers I should use, when you think I should use them, and I'm going to leave the voting up to you. Now, of course, there are a few powers that we can't really vote on. You can't vote on Gravity Storm. It affects the entire map. You can't vote on where to place the electronics. But if you've got something you want to see happen, and I have the points saved up to do it, talk about it in the chat. I'm here to steer. You're the ones who are in charge of the action. It is a community game, and you are the community. We want to celebrate that with you guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the game and start preparing a private match. We should have plenty of time to get one up and running. Just checking with my moderator over on the Discord server before I fire that up and, and throw off her timing. We'll see what they say here. We'll get going. And I've got to remember that when I create the private match, 
I am verifying one last time here that I'm going to be on the right server because nothing will annoy people more than having me on the wrong server. I am going to be on the Eastern European server today. Just waiting on confirmation back from my moderating moderator here that we're set to go. All right. We are set. I'm firing that up. Nope. All right, we are being asked to go ahead and go back into a holding pattern just yet. Um, I usually do 10, personally, coder. We're going to hit everybody in the in the opening session of that, plus we can always trigger it. I'll uh, configure it to be triggered manually. So we have it both of both worlds, if you want. Did you already create that? I should probably copy paste. Oh, we cleared that chat from earlier. Whoops. All right, you do that. That'd be excellent, sir. And I'll verify it in the console when that comes up. Another new neat surprise that's happened this last week here for Darwin Project is they've recently updated it so that the... Thank you, Scorpbot, for just now realizing that Coder's here and been messing with you for the last hour. Another interesting change in the Darwin Project that has come in the patch notes this week is that they have increased healing available in the game, making it so that uh, shooting a deer will earn you 100 hit points worth of uh, healing. I don't know if they actually announced that as a change, if that's a permanent change, or if that's an Easter change, but I have to say I quite like it. Um, it is listed under the notes as a general improvement to the game. All right, we are almost to the point where I'm going to be able to fire up a uh, channel. We want to make sure we've got plenty of time for my uh, cohort, my moderator over on the official community Discord. By the way, if you're not a member of the official community Discord, you should join in. That is available at discord.gg slash Darwin. Make sure you join the uh, community. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to chat with uh, our uh, our friends throughout the game, the people who are trying to murder us as we murder them. You can meet lots of fellow inmates there. You can apply for moderator. You can get all the latest news and happenings. It's a really nice community, actually. And I can't drink water today. That's a pro move. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time. It is 10 till. That'll give us until 10 minutes after to get things going here. So I'm going to go ahead and start the private match. <clears throat> I am a show director. It should be EU. It is. I do want that bunny hat. I got to play some more Darwin Project and try to get it. All right. And the news is out. Hopefully this will start seeing our uh, players for today's event coming in momentarily. Now I'm checking right now. It does look like we've got a full match today. Whoops. It would help if I could move around properly on the live scoreboard. There it is. So it looks like they've shuffled a little bit. I'm going to have Otofu. Dragomato, Jotobo, Zero PG, Primal Cinder, No Show, Lil Adorbs, Mountain Main, 72 Hour Student, that's a name I haven't seen in some time, and Unomia, although Unomia shows up in every single match, I'm not sure what that means. The 
We are going to wait around here for just a moment for our people to start trickling in. Is there anybody in my audience who's not familiar with Darwin Project? You've not seen or played the game yet? You're not aware of what's going on? Why I'm a floating robot? What is happening? Let me know. I'd love to talk a little bit more about the game. I do it all via the console coder. Please pause it. Spare teeth into the spare tube. I would assume it's like timer ad, but I do love that drum beat to this game. Do, 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 do. I should make that my wait morning wake up alarm clock. If you want to whisper me the text coder, I'll make it into a timer command real quick. I've got the command structure thingy up. People should be trickling, trickling in here in just a couple minutes. Is that the whole thing? I feel like that was longer before, but I'll go ahead and add that in. Oh, it does say that command exists. Hello, Mountain Man! Hello. Good to see you here, my friend. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Doing good. You just waking up? Oh, jeez. Now they're starting to trickle in. We got Gomensai and Jinsan. Come trickle in, Kevasan, Drago, Mato, and O Tofu have entered the fray. Everybody's getting their warm-up uh, shots hello. going as we speak. Zero PG enters the fray. Have you all been in the Community 100 events before? Nope, I got cucked out of the first nope. two. All right. Yeah. So the one thing you do need to know as far as what I do as the show director for these is that I have to let the audience vote on all the power usages. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whatever happens to you, it's not my fault. <laughs> ah, okay. So you're not going to spawn any electronics then? So I always tell my audience, and I've only got two or three people watching because I uh, am hosting the finals, so I didn't... So it's interesting this week. We actually have four directors this week, but they only listed three on Twitter. Since I'm hosting the finals, they didn't really advertise me. So we only have two or three people watching. If my audience, including my moderators who are watching at the moment, tell me that they'd like to see an electronic dropped somewhere, 
I can make that happen. Four people watching. Thank you, Tragalon. Good to see you, by the way. Uh, then I'll Thank be happy. Then I'll be happy to drop one. Hello, Joe Tovo. Welcome. Man. Hello, my friend. So, guys, I'm debating wearing this hat or not. I want to, but it reveals me in the grass. I'm scared. It, it does. It does give you that that built-in disadvantage. Uh, no guts, no glory. That. I think. It. Sort of wearing the hat from a previous uh, community event there. Wow. This is EU, right? This is gonna be bad. This is EU, yeah, correct. Bring out the How many EU players, players we got right here? Like two. Just three? Me, three, three. At least three. Yeah, me too. So, four. <laughs> Seems pretty fair, Kappa. No, no it doesn't. Yeah, well, the first settlement was the final war in North America without any reason, so... They do their best to balance out people however they can across all the servers. I will let you know that uh, Bella the... from the community is listening right now. She's in my stream. Fonera was talking... To Shining Star or something, the last director from the first tournament, and he also told you um, EU and North America should be splitted for the tournament to make it competitive. But I do know that North America does have East and West servers for this week's community ma uh, showdown. Yeah, but the ping between East and West North America is not the same like EU and North America. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, Bell, so I was letting everybody know that you're here and listening since they're, they're commenting on the, uh, on the, uh, server selections. Ooh, we got some good snowballs going. Um, oh, Tragalon. I am so glad you asked. So, Darwin Project is a Battle Royale game of sorts. It is a battle royale game of, of sorts. It's only got 10 people. There are no guns. You get an axe, and you get a bow and arrow, and you get a few things you can craft throughout the play of the game. What makes this one a little bit uh, unique is the fact that I get to play as the show director. You can't actually see me because I can't look at myself, but I'm actually flying around the match. I can actually zoom in on individual players. I can follow their antics. But what's more important is that I have a number of powers I get to use, and I can actually drag and drop those powers. I can close down areas of the map, drop a nuke, heal somebody, and a variety of other powers as well. And when you're here watching these community events, I give the voting power of who gets those powers and where they go to you, the person watching at home. That means you get to decide how we screw with the game, whether we help people or harm them, who gets hunted down, all those things are in your control for this game, and it's going to be super exciting. These are some of the best players we have in the entire community. These are the people who scored in the top 100 for the last week. I'm looking really forward to it. You got it, Bella. All right, I'm tuning everybody back in. Sorry, guys, I had to mute for a minute and talk to my audience. We certainly think so, Traveler. I've had a lot of fun doing this last few weeks. Uh, so, Quasin, we're gonna see us in fast tracks as well, I don't right? wanna die first again. Please, I want to leave for my... Like, we also have a scoreboard tag along for how these players Mason. will be ranked. What? No! Uh, no, no, no everybody right there. Arrows, That'll show Mason. you we yeah. are in yeah. match C last time as in Charlie. Kind of <laughs> and this will tell you who our players are at the top of the screen. In fact, I have a button for this somewhere. Hey, stop hitting me. We're starting right here. Movement here. This should sh this up here is our scoreboard. This is how many points each player gets for where they place and how many kills they yeah, get and the other bonuses Daniel, we have available. So... Uh, be sure to check that out oh, on the leaderboard, but it is here as well. Why is everyone it's fucking fuck, floating on my screen, rainy. dude? Am I floating? <laughs> well, oh, we got a conga line going. No, you're not floating. I've never floated. We're not Hanga. Looking at the I don't know what you're talking about. Tofu, I really wish you could see my screen right now. Well, you I can show people what the scoring looks like. <laughs> seizure, okay? That's how the scoring is going <laughs> to work. Hello uh, to you, name, chap dude. man. Fucking chap, <laughs> chap, chap mission, oh, chap. I don't oh, know. My Hi, lie, chap. Chaco. It's good to see you here. I want to go to join our trainee. Why are you not in the circle? We are waiting on one more player. Jeff, it shall be. I like it. 
think if you hit them, they stop. Jordan, how are my levels? If I need to uh, adjust anything, let me know. We are waiting on one more player here, guys. I'm not being drowned out by the uh, by the game. I want to make sure that people can hear me, although it's only Dude, I'm actually, I would have been killed from playing EU, to be honest. I've been playing like four hours of it. It's fucking awful. <laughs> Dude, try to land oh. shots. Awesome. Man. Jab, jab! How are you, my I've friend? Been, Jeff, thank you also for you verifying. As long as you can hear me over them, day. we're good. Dude, I can always mute them if I have to, but that's no fun. Nobody wants to have to not hear them. I'm Dude, really the about to run the little fur cloak strat, sit on the open. Honestly, I got to I watch think that, that, might that be the best way last. To so, so, I know, because if I fight someone from, it's over. So week two, I actually yeah. watched the four cloak strategy. It led to a very long <laughs> end game. <laughs> re re first infinite running. I mean, I've never <laughs> so, it. so it's, it's at least something I can do because I can't hit shots right now. It's pretty. Dude, what so place do we have to get to make it into the next round? That's my question. You, you have yeah, to get at least second place, and then you, and then once, like once everyone gets second place, it goes off of kills and time survived. Yep. So, so the scoring you is get you get ten points for first place. At least. So like, there's no third place, fourth place. Like, yeah, all right. Like as soon as you die, third place, you're done. <clears throat> I can so give you guys the scoring line. system if you want. Yes. Yeah, just, like, just in case, if if you want to calculate it on your own, it, yeah. just for me to be the second with one kill and. Then you will have to be friendly to the other guy in the circle and just to wait 30 minutes, then you will be safe in the next round. Alright, so you here's the official scoring it? breakdown as far as points. You will score 10 points if you finish in first, 7 points in second, 5 points for third, 3 points for fourth, 5th and 6th get 2 points, 7th and 8th get 1 point, 9th and 10th do not score points. However, <laughs> you also score one additional point for every kill you get. Beyond that, as what? a tiebreaker, they will use uh, the, the amount of time you survived in your game. I mean, Tofu is only worth one point. Um, let's be real. <laughs> hey, <come> on, <laughs> I'm, probably I'm probably worth like point five. I'm kidding, buddy. I'm kidding. <laughs> Zero point five. Be real. Bella, do you I'm know who we're saying, waiting on? I'm only saying that because you weren't streaming yesterday, man. No, I'm kidding. You, you had to. I feel like I'm missing a so point. So how much for third place again? Or do I just yeah, tell people? Five. Was it, was it five? Like oh my three god, so I can get third place and have three kills and still talk to the second player. Five kills and get yep. third place if you want to move on, bro. Oh Not my goodness. goodness. You need, if, you, if you're going to be the third place, you need four kills to be second. So, yeah. like, and, literally... And even then, and, and that, that's assuming no other second, pl second place <laughs> player has kills themselves. Like, if, if in some other If you don't have any kills. If with, like, four kills, then you're fucked, you know? If you're just gonna run the fork look and so, with the wood and making fires. <laughs> they take two from each game, right? Trackers, right? No, they no, don't take no. two from each game. They, they, they take the winner from each game and then they fill in oh. like a couple of the second place. So yeah, if you get there, a second, you have to compete with the other second places from the other game. There is a live scoreboard oh. running. So uh, if you guys don't see that in the uh, event channel, uh, let me know and I can pop it to you on Discord. Other That well, said... We're gonna, we, we can, we gonna know who's gonna win right here. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't well, I'll shake. tell you what, guys. We have our nine. This is our full match. So unless anybody objects, I'm going to hit the button. Is Enta not here? Rip Enta. Um, you already got the skin anyway. Fuck <laughs> him. Fuck <laughs> him. He adds the skin. So, so Enta's rank is 100. GG. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, guys. Oh, good God. luck, boys. Uh, don't kill, don't uh, kill me. Don't do it. All right, here we are again. For you in the audience, you should have the option right now below my video to go ahead and vote for who you like best for this round. If you're on mobile or on Xbox, you will have to hit an interactive button to see the voting menu. Infinite! Look at that, Joe Tobo with 29 votes. The crowd loves you, sir. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Well, this means we expect really good things of you since you've already got the uh, golden skin oh, no, no, here. No, 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 no. Uh, This is pity votes, okay? You don't expect anything. Pity votes, okay? <laughs> we expect nothing. I'll keep that in mind. Sneak in here on Primal Cinder. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm feeling the nerves a little bit, you know? Just yep. feeling it. Well, you're sporting the egg like a real pro, I have to say. What's up? You're, you're sporting that egg hat like a real pro. Yeah, yeah, there's no one else looking as stylish to me with this, uh, this egg. You got it. I gotta go check in on a fight about to happen. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna spy on Dragomoto. We're not gonna let anybody else hear us in game at the moment because of the fact that uh, um, he's about to sneak up here on Jotobo. Jotobo may have gotten eyes on him. Let's take a look Hello, from Drago. Jotobo's point really of view. Do this again. I 
killed you first blood earlier. Oh, they're they're taunting. I mean, I, I'm waiting. Jotobo uh, doesn't know where Dragomoto is gone. Drago has uh, gotten the high ground. Go, 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 go. Oh, there he comes. He drops out just in time for Jotobo to take that shot. Completely your decision, okay? Okay, okay. They are dancing around a little bit yeah, at the moment. Either. Looks like we've got another fight about to brew over here. Primal Cinder sneaking up on Otofu. Does have Otofu on track at the moment. And Otofu using a boom shroom to get away, grabbing that tracking information. Now he is following Mountain Man. Does he know he's being tailed? We don't know yet. Looks like that fight is still going on over here. Probably could have hit that if I didn't teleport. Oh, and a headshot is passed on here from Dragomoto onto Jotobo. I can't even move. Audience, there are too many zones open. We've got a couple that are empty. Give you an egg tip. Um, I'll give you the the best and worst egg tip I know. There are a lot of them near lava. If you want to, if you're brave enough to go dancing after some lava, you can find a lot of Easter eggs down in those lava pits. But you got to be able to get in and get back out. The audience has chosen to close the center zone. Dragomoto and Joe Tobo taking another couple swings at each other. We are getting down to the last couple hits here. Oh, and a smoke bomb is released, making it hard for each other to, for them to track each other and for me to follow everybody else. Interactive, if interactive is not coming up, try reloading the page. I did hear that there were problems earlier, so if it's not showing up, let me know. If you're on mobile or on Xbox, there should be an interactive button you have to press in order to pull up the voting menu each round. We got a three-way fight developing over here as well. Surprised that there are no kills three minutes into the match. That is a fairly rare thing. Mountain Man finds himself sandwiched in between. Oh, and Dragomoto is down. Jotobo pulled it off. Yes, sir. Well done, sir. And while we have nobody fighting, audience, I'm going to go ahead and fly around here. Audience, what do you guys feel about some low gravity? You think we can get these guys up and moving? We've built them a donut. Six. Let me hear it. Let me hear from you in the audience. Do you want to see some gravity storm? Wave your hands. We got one vote. Jeff says yes. All right. I feel like that's a sign. Let's go ahead and spend those points. Over here, we got Jinsan. That is an interesting layout you've got there, my friend. Hello, Warp Star. Hello, Jinsen. Enjoy the free movement. Oh, get that deer. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. That deer is never coming down to earth ever. <laughs> yeah. Over here, we got Goman Sai hanging out in the back wall of the eastmost, westmost zone. Hi, Goman. Uh, how you doing, dude? I'm I'm already struggling to walk straight. <laughs> uh oh, and look at this. You're right on top of a free electronic. What are you going to build with that? Uh, I, I Probably a radar or All maybe right. something to jump away with because these people are crazy. They are a little bit crazy. Good luck. Mountain Man sees somebody's looting that electronic. Is he going to try to stop him? We'll find out. Uh, Tragalog, that red wall is, the, if you look at the mini-map that's right below me, you'll see that the center zone has been closed off. Players can go in there, but if they do, they take a lot of cold damage for the effort. Over here, we've got another fight brewing in the caves between Primal Cinder, and I can't quite tell. Looks like he's fighting with Otofu. Yotobo has entered that fray as well. These caves are an interesting place to fight because there's lots of places to hide and peek and get shots off. Now, meanwhile, we are now closing the southwest zone. The uh, computer has randomly chosen that that is the next zone to get closed. Our players have 30 seconds to get out or else they start, start taking some serious cold uh, damage. Everybody has a cold meter. You can see it right now on the mini-map. The player I'm following right now, you can see that blue bar over here. Up along the top of the screen, assuming I haven't left the scoring ch chart up. Well, on the top of the screen, you can actually see everybody's got their red bar for their hit points. They've got a blue bar for how cold they are. When that cold bar drops all the way down, they start taking 50 points of damage every few seconds. Primal Cinder, you look a little bit lost, my friend. A new electronic is available. Yep, Audience, right. do you think Primal Cinder needs a little help getting out of the zone? Should we speed him up or should we give the free run to somebody else? You can see his cold bar is dropping fast. Oh, GG's. I didn't even think about it. Bring too much uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
And the vote is still going on. I don't know if we're going to get you in time, my friend. Oh, they gave the speed up over here to Joe Tobo. Interactive is still not working. They gave the speed up to Joe Tobo if you weren't aware. And now I'm going to oh try my to get God. with it. That's, 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 come on. Come on. I'm sorry, bro. The community voted for it. Nothing I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it was announced to you before I got there, right? They have a son hanging out over here. Keep an eye. Oh, somebody has just tripped a trip wire. You can. It's amazing. Interactive may be broken. I will definitely check it out. When my round is over for this pre-qualifying round, I'll actually be shutting down my stream. We're going to host Real Caustic, who is going to have another round of play going. And then I'll actually be coming back for the finals. I'll make sure that my interactive is working in the meantime. I might have to borrow some of the moderators for the uh, for the game to test, but uh, we'll make sure that I've done anything I can on my end. Southwest zone is about to be forbidden. Southwest zone is closing. What a, uh, let's see here. We don't really have anybody stacked up in zones. Let's go ahead and close out another zone. What do you guys say? Voting buttons should be available right now. If they're not, please continue to let me know because I want to be able to fix that between rounds. In fact, I'm going to check my interactive stuff myself. The show director is now closing his own. You're right. I'm not seeing those buttons pop up either. I will do everything I can to uh, get that fixed. Because that's going to be uh, disappointing. Now, I do know that people are voting. There are 300 people watching across to various people. I'm assuming 0PG here might be one of the people uh, streaming. But we need to get those votes working. Thank you, Bella. There's been some weird issues with Mixer's API over the last 24 hours. So it may be a Mixer side issue. I'm going to see in my menus if it would quit loading the mobile version of my page. All right, I'm going to put up another vote. Let's throw together a manhunt. The person who gets a manhunt placed on them has 90 seconds. No, two and a half minutes they have to survive. Whoever kills them gets an amazing loot box. If they survive the whole time, they keep that loot box for themselves. Zero... Somebody either uh, really likes lady. you or really doesn't like you. I'm not sure how to read that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they pretty like me, Kappa. They like you so much they want you to have the prize, my friend. That's really what this is about. Yeah. Awesome. All you have to do is hold on to it for two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, there no, Goman side died to the cold. In the whole zone, I couldn't find one tree. Okay, oh. what a game. What a way. Jin San delivering that arrow. He's revealed himself in the process. Does not look like he actually hit though. Now during this manhunt, zero PG, completely visible to everybody in the game. We got a couple cold players. I need to keep an eye on this, my interactive this time. And really, Mixer, now you're not going to let me click on the button? Wow, I can't click on my uh, interactive controls to see if it's trying to interact or not right now. No, it's telling me that I'm not interactive. So I'm going to actually have to sign out and sign back in on the game side. We'll make sure that that's working for you guys when it comes time for me to do the final three rounds. Is this like the culling? It has some similarities. Uh, it is a small map. It is a 10-player game. Uh-oh, we're missing some action over here. While well, I deal with tech support issues. Oh, zero PG laying down those traps in the area. You can see he's got a couple bear traps on either side of him, plus a tripwire for anybody coming up on this uh, on this platform to come get him and try to t steal his beautiful, beautiful loot box that he's earning. Looks like Jin San is starting to take that bait. 
dancing around being very careful it looks like he's used a radar so he actually can see most of those traps and that's also how he's available right now to see uh zero pg he is going for those uh beautiful loots um is this like the calling it has its similarities it's um this is a 10 player game there are no guns to speak of so that's a similarity in the fact well you can get guns in the calling if i recall correctly all you get in this is really an axe and some arrows. Now you can customize yeah. what kind of arrows and what kind of axes you use, but that is up to you. Um, there is a fair bit of crafting in this game, but they made crafting matter, much like the culling. Um, you have to build fires every so often to keep your character warm. And uh, what's really unique about this game is me, moly, moly. the show director. As show director, I can fly around, I can influence the game, I can impact things. Looks like we got another player ah. coming in here. Mountain Man wants a piece of this. Gonna see if he can get a good angle on the uh, action here. The Manhunt is still on zero PG. We've got that for a few more seconds. Or no, did that end? Yeah. Looks like it ended while I wasn't paying attention. And another player enters the fray. Mountain Man not gonna give zero PG a chance to loot that body. Zero PG crafting more trip wires. Tripwires can be a big detriment because they're almost invisible to the person coming up upon them. And if you go across them, they flag you so that you can be seen no matter where you try to hide for a few seconds. They knock the other person down and they should actually show the whole map where you're at so it can reveal where a fight's going on. Looks like we've got Kavasan coming in as well. Kavasan getting that tracking information on Zero PG. You can see Zero PG's outline through the wall here. What did you do, Infinite Knight? Sorry, I've got my chat windows all screwed up because I was trying to test interactive, so I'm keeping a better idea on it here. This is, I've heard a lot of people call this the Hunger Games, like, or the Hunger Games done right. Because with the show director, I can fly around and I can influence the game, I can see what's going on, and I can give you guys the power to influence the game. We've only got two zones. Here comes a vote. Now again, my interactive voting is not working at the moment. I'm very sorry about that. You are up on a cliff watching a fight happen. They have been fighting for a while, so they must be in your death. Swung once. Oh, two for kill. That is the way to do it. The nuke has been dropped. It looks like Zero PG, at least, knew that that was coming because he was already heading for the border. Good, smart move there, Zero PG. Mountain Man getting that 100 points of healing off a deer. Avisan also making the run for the border, trying to get out of the zone. Taking the time to check a map and know where everybody else is. Well done. Now, when I'm detached from a player like this, they can see me until they're right up on top of me. Hey, thank you for that follow, by the way. I'm sorry if I haven't been reading out follows. I've been paying attention to a few other things. An electronic is forming just as the nuke goes off. This whole zone is now instant death. Anybody who touches this growing green cloud, you can see on my mini-map right below me. Mmm, that beautiful wave of destruction. Meanwhile, over here, we've got a fight brewing. Now, he shot that, uh, those stations that you see all glowing, those are the computers where the electronics spawn. Electronics allow our players to use the three powers you see at the very bottom and middle of their power bar. This super leap, for example here, power leap, is one such power you can craft with the aid of an electronic. When you shoot the computers where the electronics form, you send whoever's on the, or near those flying way back. Zero PG is not going to be look. Does not appear to be interested in taking another stab at that electronic. He's going to go ahead and leave it be. No, it looks like he actually got that one. He's built himself both a radar and a teleport option. And he's also going for those uh, those heals you get from shooting the deer. In fact, at this point, all of our players are at full health. Let's go ahead and spice things up a little bit. Let's throw an electronic in here for people to have an option at. Is now activating an electronic. Mountain Man has not had a lot of time to build very many upgrades. He's got himself some level 3 speed boots, which are impressive, and a level 1 ghost cloak. The ghost cloak um, preventing people from being able to get a lot of tracking information. It, it, it limits how long they can be tracked. Over here is Zero PG dancing around on the border. Now, when this zone goes sudden death, the border wall is going to gonna start to close in, and it closes in fairly quickly when it does. It'll be interesting to see if he tries to head into the middle when that happens or not. He has actually got himself to a level 5 Ghost Cloak, meaning that anybody who picks up any of these clues that you see around the map, like he's doing right here, that just gave him uh, information on where Kavasan is. Um, Uh-oh, Mountain Man is taking some cold damage. 
Mountain Man was playing a little bit too close to the border. Here comes sudden death. Those walls are going to start moving in as we speak. Mountain Man is definitely feeling the pinch of that. He's going to start moving and moving in. These walls are going to close very quickly toward the center of the zone, and then they'll, they'll slow down. They'll continue to contract until there's only about a 30 by 30 meter playing zone, which is where they'll finally stop. That's barely enough room for two people. We've got the map is closing in. The players are closing in. Those walls are not going to stop until they get down to almost a 30 by 30 play zone with three people left here at the end. This is going to be a real interesting fight. These zones tend to get so small that it can be a tight fit for two people, much less three. Oh, and there's a shot stopping Zero PG from getting that electronic. Mountain Man trying to power leap and doesn't quite manage it, hitting his head on the on the uh, hut that he was in here in Ewok Village. And we are quickly finding ourselves on the wrong side of that wall. It should start slowing down. There it is. There's the slowdown. That wall is still contracting. Ewok Village is always an interesting place for a final fight because of the 3D nature of this entire zone. Some people are going to be up high, some are going to be down low, and it's a little bit of a maze if played correctly. Nobody wants to take that final shot. And we got two down on the ground. Uh-oh, he finds himself quickly outside the map. Using a couple heal kits, but his he his heat is dropping very quickly. Get behind Mountain Man. Mountain Man doesn't know it. Oh, and he knocks Mountain Man outside the zone as well, keeping Mountain Man pinned. Dipping out in the cold himself. It is a three-way fight in the corner. Hero PG beating up on his competitors here. And a trap! A tripwire manages to take Mountain Man out of the game. No such luck for taking out Zero PG. Kavison with that active camouflage going invisible. Can they get the final shot there on Zero PG? One more hit will do it. Active camouflage, of course, not perfect visibility, but Kavison! Great fight, you three. That was amazing to watch. Wird eventuell reichen. Well done. I'm gonna leave this final screen up here. I know uh, Bella needs to get a reichen. copy of that eventuell. for points. <laughs> After this, ladies and gentlemen, I will be uh, going offline, A, to repair my interactive, and B, to host Real Caustic here on Mixer, who's going to be hosting another preliminary round, probably as we speak. I'll be right back with you guys in uh, just a Call it a half hour when we start the final, final round for the evening. Right, reading some messages here. All right. Duly noted, Bella. Ha, my internet thing is here. All right, everybody. Thank you for those follows. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main menu. I'm going to check all of my settings. I'm going offline, but uh, you guys can all check back with me in about a half hour. We're going to pass the love on over to Real Caustic. Stay tuned.